welcome back to ECS Coffee. My name is Rebecca and today we will be taking a look at the differences between the Barista Express Impress and the Barista Touch Impress. So right out of the gate, these machines obviously have some similar similarities and some differences. So let's break it down and we'll discuss who each machine is kind of geared towards and uh, make some beverages with each of them too. So as you can tell, the um, both machines are in a stainless steel color and both machines have a portafilter and a, a steaming wand with a grinder on board. The Barista Touch Impress will have a color display touchscreen with some pre-programmed beverages and you can add and customize your own as well. So we've done that just at the front. On the Barista Express Impress, you're going to have a more analog way to use this. So you're going to have touch but, um, regular buttons here for a single shot, double shot. And your dial on the side is going to be for your steam and for your hot water. You have the grinder up top and a dose button on the front. If you were to use the functions on the Barista Touch Impress, Everything will be done on the touch screen and you'll just touch the icon um, to perform the function you want to do. The Touch Impress has about a 340 gram bean hopper up top, which is really awesome. It's removable. There we go. And the Brisa Express Impress has a 200 and 50 gram bean hopper up top, which is also removable but just a little bit smaller. And both machines have approximately a two liter uh, water reservoir on the back. Both machines also have the Impress system, hence the Impress at the end of the name, for the tamper. So they both have an integrated tamper. I'm just gonna go back home. So that will apply the correct amount of pressure and also let you know whether or not you have the correct dose. So it kind of takes those variables away from you, which is very, very easy. The Express and Press has been out for a few months now um, and customers are really, really loving it. The Touch and Press is a newer machine, but boasts more um, automatic function. So with the automatic steaming wand and with the barista guidance. So the barista guidance is going to tell you whether or not your espresso shot is pouring well and how to correct it to get a good shot if it's not pouring well. So it's very, very easy. We're going to run through that together. Um, on the express impress, you're going to have a manual steaming wand. It's fully articulated and it's pretty easy to use, but um, you would have to be the barista and steam your own milk. The Express and Press also has a 30 second heat up time, whereas the Touch and Press has a three to five second heat up time. So this machine, the Touch and Press is ready like that. The Express and Press takes just a little bit longer, but it's still only 30 seconds to heat up your machine. So let's brew, um, let's make an Americano on each machine and then we will make a latte or a cappuccino on each machine as well. So first I am going to go into my touch and press screen and I'm going to click Americano. So on my touch and press, I've got that beverage pre-programmed. On my express and press, I'm going to have to combine everything together. So I'm going to need to know the recipe. So for Americano, it is just espresso and hot water. Super simple. Um, so first things first is to dose up the coffee. I'm going to do it on the express and press first and click dose. So this is going to automatically dose out the amount of coffee. I'm on the auto dose function. You do also have a manual dose function on this machine as well, but the auto dose is what we prefer to use. I'm going to pull this down and I've not got enough coffee in there, so I'm going to click this again. Still need more. Oh, a little bit too much. 
Thank goodness though, we've got our razor tool. So we've got our razor. So this is going to allow us to trim off the excess coffee. And the machine will know for next time how much coffee to dose into our porta filter. Now I'm going to stick this up into my group head, place my cup underneath, and I will click my double shot button because I had my double basket in. On this machine, to know whether or not we've got a good shot, we're going to watch the needle rise. And it should rise to be within the gray range, which means that we have a good amount of pressure. Our espresso shot looks good. We're just in the gray range. So it seems like we could have used um, a finer grind size, but the crema looks nice. So I'm going to leave it. Beautiful. Mm, it smells really good. It doesn't smell under extracted. Poured a little fast, but it smells really good. All right, and then hot water. So on the Express and Press, our hot water foot is just off to the side. And we have our knob on the side, the right side of the machine. And I'm just going to turn it to the back, which is going to allow the water to come out of the spout. So it's automatically going to dispense eight ounces, but I can stop it at any time. And there's no programming the amount of water that comes out with this machine. It just is the eight ounces. It'll stop after the eight ounces and then if you wanted more, you could pour more, or you could stop it before it finished. And I'm going to stop mine. That looks like a good amount of water. Mm. And it's good espresso. Yum. Very, very yummy. All right. That is an Americano on the Barista Express and Press. So it's a little bit more work there. Um, you are in charge of how good your espresso shot is pouring. You do get some assistance with the impress system, letting you know how your dose level is. Although your grind size will impact how your espresso is pouring. So our grind size, if we made our grind size a couple notches finer, our espresso shot would be even better. But our espresso shot was quite delicious this time. You're also in charge of pouring how much water comes out and ensuring to turn the knob back to the standby position so that you aren't leaving it open. On the touch and press, it's going to do a little bit more for us. So let's uh, dose out our Americano. So we enter into our Americano option and the recipe is right there for us. So you'll, we'll be hitting each icon to do the function. So to grind, I'm going to hit my porta filter and it's going to grind and dose to what I've, I have it set to. Okay. I'm going to pull down my tamper. It's telling me that I need a little bit more. So that's very similar to how it was noting it on the Express Impress. And now we're good. So I got the green check mark. On the Express Impress, you have a little smiley face that the line lights up on, which is kind of cute. So I'll pull that out. We don't need to do any trimming on this one. It's good. I'll stick that up into my group head here. And then I will click my shot button here. There we go. It tells me hot water will start brewing after the espresso. So it sets it up in sequence for me. I can turn that off if I wanted to, to adjust the size. And so this machine with the barista guidance is going to tell us how our espresso poured. So if our espresso poured too fast or too slow, it's going to tell us how to make those adjustments. So that was a beautiful, perfect shot. Absolutely gorgeous. The hot water spout on the touch and press is just behind the group head. So it's coming out of a different spot. 
and this is pouring by seconds instead of um, knowing that this pour is eight ounces. And I'm going to stop it so that it is similar in size. Yeah, that looks pretty much. Yeah, pretty much the same. Yeah. All right, so same bean, same drink. Let's see if it tastes different. does taste a little bit different. Mm. They're pretty similar. Um, the touch and press is a little bit softer in flavor. Um, but it finishes the exact same. Yeah, finishes the exact same. Fantastic. So with my touch and press, I got the check mark. I knew my shot was good because of that. On the express and press, my needle was just getting up into the gray. The espresso shot tasted good. I could tell that it had a good crema. But if I didn't know to look for any of those things, um, I wouldn't know that my espresso shot was good until I you know, tasted it. I also would need to know how to fix my shot on the Express and Press. So I know from experience that I needed to, to make my shot even better. I'll be making my grind size one notch finer on my next beverage. On the Touch and Press, if anything was going wrong, which it, it didn't this time, we had a beautiful shot of espresso, um, it would have told me what to do. So it would have said to increase or decrease my grind size based on my rate of pour, which is how fast your espresso is pouring. So we're lucky, the touch and press poured 28 seconds, perfect amount of time. And the express, I'm going to go ahead now and change my grind size. So to do that, I have a dial on the side. I'll also show you guys how to change your grind size on um, the touch and press as well, but we don't need to make any adjustments. So let me get rid of this espresso pack. Okay. And I'm going to dose a little bit. I'm going to turn my dial to manual dose though. So I'm going to just click the button or click the dial. And now it's on manual dose. So I'm going to click dose. Oh, I need to actually be changing my grind size. That would help. It doesn't just magically do it. Um, so I'm going to go finer. So I want to have a slower extraction on the side of the machine. You can see that it indicates faster or slower extraction and you'll move your dial the way you want to go. So I want to go slower. So I'm going to turn my dial towards slower while I am grinding. Six should be good. Yeah, six is good. That's normally where we're kind of sitting at. Put a little bit more out. That should be fine. I'm just gonna get rid of this so that we have all new grind size in there. On the touch and press, just for demonstration's sake, I'm going to go to a new beverage because we will be making a milk beverage this time. We're gonna do, um, well, I'm gonna, I think, do flat white on the touch and press. So I'll just show you guys how to change the grind size here. So you can see the number indicated on the bottom underneath the port of filter, which is grayed out. That's because we haven't done any of the dosing. I'm going to turn the dial on the side and you can kind of see on the side there too that it indicates whether you, you want a faster or slower extraction. And they're opposite. So on the express and press, you're turning the dial towards you to have a faster extraction. And on the touch and press, you're turning the dial towards you to have a slower extraction. So they're, they're flipped, they're opposite. They're a different type of grinder though. Um, the touch and press is a stepless grinder. So it has more grind size options than the express and press does. So to do that, I'm just going to turn my grind size and you'll see the number change on the bottom. So 19 for slower, 20, and you can visualize on the screen kind of where you're going and where you were, which is nice. There we go. 
I'll leave it at 20 because we had a good rate of pour there. So it's time to dose out our new coffee now. Again, I'm gonna start with the Express Impress. While that's grinding, I'm gonna go rinse out my Americano mugs because I'm not drinking four different beverages today. Otherwise, I will not sleep. All right, so now we can pull our tamper down and we've got a good um, dose amount there. So the machine remembered how much it dosed last time and it corrected it for this time, which is awesome. Now we've got a perfectly tamped espresso puck. Now I can put that up in here. And now I can pour my double shot of espresso. So we're going to be making a milk beverage. Um, I'm gonna just kind of steam until I don't wanna steam anymore, aiming for a flat white. But this is a manual steaming wand. So we're going to need to texturize the milk ourselves, make sure we're heating it correctly and shut off the steam when we're done steaming. But first step is to pour the espresso. You can't do the two functions at the same time. Um, so once our espresso is done pouring, we'll be able to steam our milk. And let's watch how it pours now that we made those corrections. The needle still isn't rising. So I would I would make my grind size finer again. But again, the espresso shot smells good. It has nice crema on it. It poured for a little longer than I would normally like, but the smell is good. The crema looks good. It's probably gonna taste good. So I'm happy with that not overly fussy when I'm adding milk to my um, espresso. Next step is to ensure we have the right amount of milk in here, which is about halfway up, filled up with, um, which is filled up about halfway or right below where the spout starts on the jug. And I need to let a, bit, a little bit of steam out of my wand. So I'm just gonna turn the dial towards me, same dial I used for my hot water and just wait until it lets out a little bit of steam. So this is called purging. It's making sure that the uh, steaming wand is heated up and that there's no stale water sitting in there. There we go. So I'm going to turn this off, stick my steam wand in. I'm in a little bit of an awkward position, but that's totally fine. And just turn my steam wand on. We're using regular milk right now, but using a manual wand, you can use any kind of milk you want. Doesn't have to be regular milk, but regular milk just froths a little bit better. On the Touch and Press, you do have programmability options to program the kind of milk you're using. So if you're somebody that uses um, oat milk all the time, or soy milk, or almond milk, or any of those things, you can program the kind of milk you're going to be using and it'll foam for that milk. So different kinds of milks require different types of foam intensity and the, the touch and press will do that. All right, and now this is getting hot. The milk looks really good. So now I can turn it off. Let my steam wand settle. And I'll just show you the milk here. So I was able to get some really nice milk foam with this machine. I practice steaming milk relatively frequently. So this type of machine with this type of wand is a learning curve when you're starting out. Um, Something to keep in mind when looking between the two machines. They both offer the nice no mess tamping, but you will have to know how to steam milk with the touch and press, or the express and press, sorry. Ooh, milk on the floor. There we go. So I've got a nice latte here with 
some okay latte art. It's like all right, it's not perfect, but we're not here for perfection. It smells really, really yummy. I mean, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but that's pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. Yum. I personally really like a mango steaming wand. I like steaming milk myself. I enjoy the process, but it's not for everybody. On the touch and press, you have both options. So you have the option to automatically foam your milk and have the machine do everything for you, or if you have the wand in the upright position, you'll be able to froth the milk manually. I don't love this because it's not mobile. The nice thing about having an articulated steam wand is you can position it to better assist you with your steaming. But this is good if it's a good combination because a lot of people have somebody that wants to steam milk and somebody that doesn't want to steam milk. I know that's the case in my household. So I'm going to click on my flat white, which is what we're gonna make. I'm going to click on my, oop, there we go, um, porta filter to grind. This should be the right amount because we dosed not enough last time and we had to fix it or the machine fixed it for us. Oh, now we have to trim. We dosed too much this time. Oh no, okay. We did go messing around with the grind size a little bit, so that's fine. So, trusty old razor, remove all of that off. And now next time the machine will know how much to dose for us. Stick the porta filter up into the group head and place the mug underneath. Now I can click and go. So the next step is steaming the milk, just like the Express and Press. You cannot brew and steam at the same time. These aren't heat exchangers or dual boiler machines. They are thermoblock, single, essentially a single boiler machine. You can do one function at a time, but you can set this up to sequence. So if I stick that in and I click, oh, well, you're not gonna see it now because the espresso didn't stop pouring. Um, if I was more on the ball, you would be able to program and hit your milk to go. But I wanted to show you guys where you can get your um, oat milk and all those other options. So you see this little jug down here? That's for our regular milk. If I click on that, I'll be able to adjust everything. So I have almond, oat, and soy. I can adjust my foam level. I'm gonna go up actually to three. And you can adjust the temperature as well. 65 is pretty normal. I'm going to hit this. And now it's going to automatically steam my milk for me. So this espresso shot poured quite a bit faster than what the one did beforehand. Um, it still smells really good. There we go. So now we've reached the temperature that we wanted. It's nice and hot. I'm going to pull this up, push it back down. I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a tap. So the milk is really nice here too. My milk was a little bit better, um, but that's fine. <laughs> It does a really nice job for an automatic steaming wand. There we go. Yeah, my milk was a little bit better. But this was a, this was easier. I didn't have to do anything. And the steaming wand is cool to the touch. Mm. It tastes exactly the same. It's delicious as well. Okay. So the touch and press, 
is definitely for people that um, either have somebody that wants to be a barista at home or and somebody that doesn't or it's for the person that doesn't want to be the barista at home you don't want to worry about how to dial in your espresso shot you don't want to worry about how to steam milk um, but you still want to get that cafe quality espresso beverage there's no mess on the countertop which is awesome like no grinds coming down You've got the cool to the touch steam wand with the programmability. So really awesome for people that are drinking alternative milks. Anything with a wand really is great for people drinking alternative milks. Has a large bean hopper, which is fantastic. Love that. Um, and it's super programmable. So if you have multiple people in the household that like their beverages different ways, so different amounts of water, different amounts of milk, different kinds of milk, you can program all of that. The touch screen is super easy to use and it's nice for when you have guests over because they can look at the beverages and just say, oh, I want that. And you don't have to think about it. It's all there. It's all the recipes pre-programmed, which is fantastic. On the Express Impress, you do have to be a bit of a barista. So you, you don't have to tamp and you don't have to worry about dosing correctly, but you do have to worry about if your grind size is right. So something to keep in mind when you're looking at these types of machines. Again, no mess on the countertop. We've got a couple of grinds on the drip tray, totally fine. But you do have to learn how to steam milk and it is a process that you need to practice at, but it's kind of fun. So if you are interested in learning how to do those things or you don't mind doing those things, then this is a really, really, really great option. And it takes away the tamping for you and the mess on the countertop, which is very nice. Both machines have a two year warranty with Breville as well. Um, and the, but the price points are quite different. So the Express and Press has a price point of about $1,300 regularly. Sometimes it's on sale um, and that's in Canadian. And the Touch and Press has a price point of about $2,200 as well. Um, sometimes it's on sale. However, those are their normal prices. So you are paying a, just about $1,000 more for all of those automations. So you're paying for the touchscreen, you're paying for the barista guidance, the automatic um, steaming one, the larger bean hopper, the upgraded modern look to the machine as well. Both machines right now only come in stainless steel. They may come out in some other colors at some point as well because Breville does have all of the Lux colors. They do also have little heating trays up top. Um, yeah, I mean, I really, I like Breville machines. I have one myself and I think both machines offer some features that are really nice. So I, myself being somebody that likes a more manual machine, I love the Express and Press. I like that it offers you those manual options. But for the touch and press, you don't have to think about anything. Like it does everything for you. So it's a nice melding of a super automatic and a semi-automatic, which is very, very cool. Not many machines out there like that. So which person are you? Are you somebody that wants to do a little bit of the stuff yourself? Or do you want to have the machine do mostly everything for you, but you still, you still look like you know what you're doing? Let us know down in the comments. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you like our content. Give us a thumbs up as well if you liked this video and follow us on all of our social media channels and make sure to check out our blog where we put out some awesome coffee knowledge articles. So stay tuned guys, we'll have more videos coming to you and thanks for watching.